Hello, this is Dina from the Marks Group, and today we're going to be talking about email templates in Zoho CRM. Before we get started, just want to remind you that we are here for all of your Zoho needs. Please reach out to us at info at marksgroup.net or visit our website at www.marksgroup.net for many different Zoho resources that you can make available to yourself. Now let's talk about email templates in Zoho CRM. There are many options you can do, you can uh, design these with. You want to go to the settings, and then under customization, you want to choose templates. And then you can see there's different templates, and today we're going to talk about email templates. Now, when you create an email template, you have several different options. First thing you need to do is determine which module you're going to be sending these emails from. I'm going to keep it simple and go with contacts. Then you're going to click next. And then you're going to see that you have a lot of different options on what you can use to design the templates themselves. So you can start with a blank one or have very simple um, basic templates here. You can have celebration ones, birthdays, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays different templates that you can use as your starting point. You can send invitations, whether these be for webinars, um, other different information, and when you choose one of these, you can see that you have a registration button already included in here that you can um, adapt. You have follow-up if you want people to keep in touch with you, uh, product promotion where you can use these to start off with an update, or notifications. So just to show you, um, if you take one of these templates that are already selected, you can select the template. And then once it's loaded, you can go in and customize any of these different sections that you want and add in whatever you want. We are actually not going to do that. I'm going to show you um, what you can do in, a, in terms of a bare template, a, a basic brand new one, uh, just so you can see all of the different functionality available to you. So I'm going to select a blank template. And now, as you can see, you can do anything you want in this template. On the left side here, you have your different components. And on the right, on, on here in your area of work, you can see that you have a number of different menu options as well. First thing you want to do, though, is um, name your template. And then you're going to enter a template subject. Now, the important thing to remember about this template subject is that this is going to be the email subject line when this email is sent out, this template is sent out. So I'm just going to say, um, Hello, we are excited to work with you. And uh, so that's the, that's the subject here. Now you can go in and you can um, add whatever you want in here. If you want to start with text, which is already here, you can um, start typing dear, you know, whoever you want. Um, and what you can do, it's a really important feature of the template is what's called here the merge field. And what that does is that if you type here ne next to the deer, if I type um, the pound sign, I can then make this personal. So I can select first name so that whoever this goes to, the first name of that person will appear. And then I can start, you know, I could just type something. We are excited. Um, then you can, you know, go on, say whatever you want, and then you can say, and you can then make this where it's then the signature can always be just the user that you have. So you can do hashtag, and then instead of contacts here, you're going to want the users, and you're going to want the user's first name, let's say. So you can type a whole little thing here. 
Uh, the other thing you can do is if we get rid of this part for now, you can then have this here and then you can add in the image that you want. Um, you can put the image here and then you can bring in whatever image you want. So you can upload it, you can do whatever you want. I'll just leave it like this for now. And then uh, let's say you had a table you wanted to do, just a few lines. You can update the table here, show some information. And let's say you decide you need additional columns. So you can just go here. You can insert rows. You can insert um, columns. What I'll do here is I'll insert a column afterwards so you can see what you can do here. Um, and then you can add this information. And then once you have all this information, then what you want to do maybe is have more text to sign off on here. Oops, just regular text. Um, thanks. And then this is again where we can put our um, signature. And then we can do that. We can also up here, you can you know, change the font of this using what you have here. And you can bold it if you want. You can make different sizes. You have your typical um, d different um, options of how you can make some edits and format this a little bit better. You can have um, a font color. We can make this red. You can also have, um, this would be a font background, which I'm not going to do. Then you have um, the indentations. You have here where you can create a link. You can unlink. You can insert an image here instead of doing it over here as well. Um, you can add in a line. So maybe after this image, oops, after here, I want to add in a horizontal line just to separate out what I'm doing. You can also have a background color. And this background color will go for each component. So let's say we do this. You could see this is in yellow um, here as well. This chart, you wanted to have a background color. It's just going to keep it colorful for now. Uh, and then here, maybe you want to make this one yellow again. And then you could see you could do all kinds of things and leave the image alone. And then you have a few other options as well. And what's nice too is that you can even include an attachment. So if you're always sending out the same template and you always want the same attachments, you can go in here and you can um, just click attachments and have your attachment there. And you can do preview. And this will show you what this will look like in a, in a communication. We never uploaded the image, so that's not going to show for right now. You can send a test email if you want to but we can also save this. When you save this, we have the template name, and then you can determine if you put this in the public folder or you can add your own folder if you want to just share this template with a few people. I'm going to click Save, and then you can see that here's the template that we created. Now you may be wondering, what do you do to use this template? So let's go back to the Contacts module now. And let's select um, a few people. When, when you select just one person, you can just send an email directly to them. But you can still choose a template if you want. And here we can choose the sample one. So this goes directly to Mike. You can see here that Mike is a user. I mean, it's the contact's first name. So it just puts that right in here. And then the name of the user in here is TMG. So it puts theirs as well. What I'm going to do, though, I'm going to cancel out of this. Um, since we don't want to do that. And then I'm going to show you, you can also do mass emails. We can select more than one person. Then when you do send email, it's going to give you again, you're going to select your template. We'll select this template. And then you have your some of your other options around a mass email. And you can send this email. Another aspect of email templates, which is convenient if we go back to customization and templates, is that you can see some stats with these. You can see when it was last used, what the stats are. And by stats, what this means is um, when you first click on one, you can go to analytics and you can see um, how many were the open rate, 
was 100%. Um, click rate no, is zero. Um, here you can see unopened or open. You can see this is zero. And then you can also play around with different versions of the same template and see uh, which version tended to have better results. If we go back into the templates though, you can see that we have some history on a number of these different, um, and this one would be a better one to look at the analytics. If you look here, you can see that 100% was open, that was one cent. You can uh, go back and see history if there was history. Um, and you can do a number of different things with these email templates. So this really, you can have them again in your folders and you can, uh, we can just show you a few other samples. This is a longer sample of one you can do. You can put logos in there. Um, here is a welcome email with an image. And again, you can customize this and, and do all kinds of creative things with these templates. So again, you would use these templates um, when you're communicating with your, you know, as you're sending emails, you can pick the template that you're going to use. So I hope this was helpful in helping you understand how you can create and use email templates in Zoho CRM. If you have any questions about this or anything else related to Zoho, please contact us at info at marksgroup.net or please visit our website for our other resources at www.marksgroup.net and we can help you in any way we can.